man, needless to say, as we continue on this very Rhode Island-centric episode of the podcast, I feel I accidentally stumbled upon a winner as far as top fives go, as we're going to spend this week looking at some of the craziest, weirdest Rhode Island laws that are actually in the books. A brief backstory, I was first looking for weird facts about the state of Rhode Island, And all of the weird facts ended up being laws that I couldn't believe. So that's how this top five came about. And I enjoyed this one so much that I plan on doing all six New England states in succession. So if you like weird, crazy laws, get ready because they're going to be coming up for the next six episodes, including this one. The hardest thing here was narrowing down what was an honorable mention and what was the actual top five. And we'll give you a little bit of a taste here as I do the honorable mentions first. So, honorable mentions for the weirdest Rhode Island laws. Well, first of all, if you have kids, don't get them cap guns because cap guns are illegal in Rhode Island. Other honorable mentions include the fact that it is illegal to coast downhill in neutral in your car. In the town of Situate, where we went on a road trip a little while ago. The law says it is illegal to drive with beer in your car, period. Open, closed. If you have it, it's illegal. In the city of Providence, it is illegal to wear see-through clothing. And lastly, it is illegal to keep more than 11 inoperable vehicles in front of your house. So you can have 10 cars that don't work in your front yard, and that's fine. But those are the honorable mentions of just the wackiness that I found. So let's dive into the actual top five. As with most of these lists, they are in no particular order. Let's start with number one. It is illegal to throw pickle juice on a trolley. With these laws, I've tried to find when they were actually put on the books. This one I've had trouble finding. I don't know if this law, since trolleys aren't really a thing anymore, if it extends to buses or other public transport. I don't know why this would have to become a law. Was this something that happened a lot way back, you know, a century or more ago? That people were getting on trolleys with a cup of pickle juice or a jar of it and throwing it on people? And is it only pickle juice? Does it extend to other juices from foods or... I mean, it's crazy. So if you were out there thinking of taking the trolley for some random reason going back in time, don't bring pickle juice. And if you do bring it, don't throw it on people. Number two, it is illegal to smoke a pipe after sunset in Newport. Newport is one of my favorite places in New England. But man, what kind of random weird law is this? Were they afraid that if you smoke a pipe when it's dark outside, you might drop the ashes and burn stuff down? That was basically the only thing I could think of, was fear of starting fires. At least today, with weather apps that have the sunset times on them, you can time your smoking your pipe, sitting out on the porch on a nice summer evening, inhaling all that smoke as quick as you can, knowing the cops are just patrolling the streets of Newport, waiting to catch someone smoking right after the sun goes down. It's an easy way to be a rebel. Smoke a pipe after dark in Newport and see what happens. Number three, it is illegal to sell both toothpaste and a toothbrush to the same person in Providence on Sundays. You talk about having a lot of catches to a law. How dare these people want to have clean mouths on a Sunday? It's funny because I think when most of these laws that I'm talking about were put in the books, it had to be at least a century ago with most of them. And I don't think oral hygiene was that important to a lot of people more than a century ago. So what did people think it was bad? How dare you snobby people brush your teeth? But the fact that it's just Providence and just on Sundays. So I'm assuming if that was the case for someone, they'd go in and buy toothpaste at a store and then have to go back in with a fake nose and mustache and glasses to buy their toothbrush just so they won't get arrested. And what's the penalty for it? Go to jail for trying to get toothpaste and a toothbrush. Number four, it is illegal to race a horse down a highway. This one is interesting because I believe it's actually legal to have a horse on a highway, but you just can't race it. And how are people going to know the difference between a horse just trotting or actually trying its hardest to get its top speed? 
Are the cops out there with radar guns looking at the horse saying, oh, I think it's going too fast. Let's pull it over. Has anyone out there ever seen horses on the highway in Rhode Island? Because what I've looked up, it makes it sound like that's all right. I've never seen a horse on 195. I do know if you get caught, you get fined $20 and you could be put in jail for no more than 10 days. So, hey, it's worth giving it a shot. And finally, number five on the weirdest Rhode Island laws, I did save the best for last. It is illegal to intentionally bite off another person's limb. This one is crazy. The law says if you do it intentionally, leave a person limbless. So I guess it comes down to whether you do it intentionally or if it was by accident. If you fell down and were biting something as you fell and you took a chunk out of someone's leg... Do you run away or do you continue biting through the leg saying, oh, it had to happen? What if their arm was trapped under a rock and you had to bite through it to get them free? You intentionally did it, but you saved their life. See, there's all these gray areas. But if you're in Rhode Island thinking of biting off someone's arm, if it's trapped under a rock, remember, you could get up to 20 years in jail. So maybe hire a pack of wild dogs to come do it for you. And there you have the top five weirdest Rhode Island laws. Have you ever heard of any of these? Have you ever broken any of these laws? This was so goofy and so much fun finding all of these that, like I said, I'm going to do this for all New England states. So come back next time as I find the weirdest laws from all the New England states and do my best to keep you out of jail for stupid reasons. 